November is Native American Heritage Month, and D.C.'s Public Library is bringing in a variety of diverse voices and perspectives to shed light on the realities of indigenous people inside the United States. Very cool. News 4's Dominique Moody caught up with critically acclaimed author Matika Wilbur, uh, the author and curator behind Project 562. Matika Wilbur of the Swinomish and Tulalip tribe of coastal Washington has spent the last decade traveling, talking, and learning about tribal nations in what is now the United States. From the West Coast to the East Coast, even here at home. In 2012, I sold everything in my Seattle apartment. I packed my bags. I hit the road for Project 562 which at the time stood for the number of tribes in the United States. Project 562 was a culmination of the time Wilbert spent photographing federally recognized tribes, urban native communities, and those tribes fighting for federal recognition. Um, I think I'm just like carrying on the tradition of those that have come before me of storytelling in vibrant ways in our communities. Sure. Along the way, she heard about the lingering issues thousands of indigenous people still face today. We're living with the realities of these systemic monsters um, in our societies as native people. We have these major crises in Indian country, like the missing and murdered indigenous women movement, and thinking about uh, what it means to be a people that have survived genocide. Inside the Project 562 book, you learn by reading through oral stories and seeing the pictures that show the realities of contemporary Native Americans. Americans. Part of that is changing public perception about these tribes. Most people, when they think of Native America, they imagine a stereotype, a misrepresentation, uh, because we know that we're not properly represented in the public consciousness. The enduring message that I experienced over and over and over again was that our people are thriving, our cultures are alive. We have very real efforts in our own communities to take care of ourselves. You know, we don't need a savior. <laughs> we need allies. In the district, Dominique Moody, News 4. And if you would like to learn more about the project, its creator will actually be speaking tonight at the MLK Memorial Library in downtown D.C. at 7. You can also check out the Project 562 book anytime.